Hi guys, it's Big Al, and welcome to Big Al Sports World. And today we're back with our Boyhood Return series, Returns with Born United v. Rosario in the Northern Irish Amateur Division 1B. Now, obviously, we want this is a playthrough game, so you're seeing every single game. You've seen the 5 2 victory against uh, Balna Hinch probably in December, I believe, was the last video of this, so it's been a while. So we just go quickly back for the results. So the opening day of the season, we drew one each with. Colin Valley with an OG by Matthew Lloyd and Andy Kane getting on the score sheet for us. We never out and beat St. Luke's 4 3. A nice brace for Andy Kane. Boyd on the score sheet and Kelly. And then we beat Balna Hines United 5 2 in the last game with Jack Martin getting a goal, Andy Kane getting another brace, Ben Murdoch and Mark Kelly on the score sheet. Nicky Templeton with a brace for Balna Hines United. Uh, one, their last one was a penalty in the 49th minute. Actually, both penalties. Wow. So we, we give away too many penalties in that game. So as you can see, we're now second in the league behind Downshark, who are undefeated. We have drawn one. They are undefeated. So that's we're still in the playoffs, which is good. Or in the automatic promotion spot. So that's good enough for us. We can, we'll can hopefully stay up there. So today, against Rosario, this is the team that's going out there. So we got Anderson in goal, a back line of Bell, Boyd, Murdoch and Lindsay. In front of those is Martin and Kelly. And in front of those we have Miller, Wickham, McCune. And up top, as normal, we have the Mr. Andy Kane. In the bench we got Shannon, Gardner, Muldrew, Anderson and Khan. We're playing counter football with flexible. So let's see what if we can get pick up another three points today. And keep that pressure on Downshire at the top of the division. Obviously, guys, you haven't seen this in a while, but it is returning. It's going to be twice a week on this one day, on a Thursday, twice a week, provided I get the recordings done on time. With my work being super busy at the minute, it makes it rather difficult to get recordings done. But I'm doing my best. We're trying to get. We got like a new schedule going on. So you'll get Kirsten Ashton save the non league the Premier League on a Tuesday morning and afternoon and then on a Friday afternoon. The journeyman you'll get one episode on a Wednesday morning. I was trying to get two episodes on, but it takes way too long to get play through because of all of, I have every single league loaded and the computer just takes days to load it. And it looks like Rosario are coming out straight from kickoff here. They can score and then obviously you're gonna have your Bond United on a Thursday morning and afternoon. Miller with a free kick. Swings it in. Back post. Wickham. Oh, he couldn't get there. Martin does, though. Oh, terrible shot by Martin. Miles wide. And a corner now to Rosario. Graham whips it in. It falls to Simpson. Keeper's gone. Walk about. But Boyd gets hold of it. He's fine. McKeown. Can McKeown hold it up? McKeown runs for the byline. He's got three round him. He holds it up. And then he gets a free kick. Good football by McKeown. Can we put... The Rosario are third in the league, so... Rosario come with a throw in now. But obviously we are on counter-attack, so... That kind of explains why they're getting plenty of attacks down us. Wickham bumps the ball forward for Kane. Can Kane get there? Yes, he can. Kane's got plenty of space. He's got three... Oh, great play by Kane. He's found McKeown. It's 1 0. Born United 1. Oh, McKeown with a thumping strike. And the team that are second in the division keep up the pressure on Downshire. And Rosario, who are right behind them, will not be happy with this result at all. Andy Kane gets the ball from Wickham. Bits his man, switches the play, and on the volley. Oh, McCure on the volley sends Barn United. I think we could be going top of the division. Here comes Rosario with Simpson. He looks out wide to Graham. Graham whips it in. Watson, but it didn't get there. Boy with the clearance. Martin. Oh, he couldn't get there. On a great block. As the Rosario team tried to get the equaliser. And again, Rosario come. Mirrors with the throw in. Downey. Looks for Simpson, he flicks it on for Watson, and a great save by the keeper, and Boyd clears out, Anderson with a big save. Can we defend the corner, Rosario with the corner. Clearney whips it in, away by Kelly, Mears picks it up, Mears holds on to it, plays it back to Diner, he pumps a beautiful ball over the top for Graham. And Graham puts it a mile and a half wide. 
that's easy for us. Like a kick off the second half, no changes from Barn. We're still playing counter attack, and Rosario have been the better team because they've had the more possession, etc. But we've taken our chance, and if they equalise, then we'll go attacking. And that was shocking play by Miller, and then comes Rosario. Oh, oh, oh! Ben Murdoch's injured. Is he going to get sent off as well? Because I assume that's going to be a free kick to Rosario. We're going to make a change. He looks at free kick Rosario. Dimes are losing 1-0. Clearly, we've changed in attacking mentality as well now. So hopefully we'll get a few more chances. Free kick to us. Anderson pumps it forward. Too easy for the defence. Um, the defensive midfielders didn't do their job. And this is a problem of going attacking. McClapp. Oh, great save. But rebound. Oh, cleared by Khan. Oh, my word. We survived that one. And another free kick. Maybe I shouldn't have put it on attack. Let's change it down to uh, standard. Kane. Oh, beautiful. Back heel into Kelly. Kelly, if he looked right. Oh, he didn't look right. Get challenged. Khan with a free kick. Plays it in the Muldrew. Muldrew. Oh, easy for, Mag for Miguel. And Boyd picks it up. Pumps the ball forward. Easy for Rosario as they come forward again. Great ball over the top. And it's 1-H. We can see that it's so late on. Rosario have equalised. We dropped the third in the league now. That was a terrible clearance by Boyd. He's having a bad game as it is. But I have no centre-backs on the bench. Free kick. Boyd. McKeown. The goal scorer, Muldrew. Can we get a winner? Muldrew! Oh, just over the bar. Come on, Barn. And this is looks like it's going to be it as Gardner takes the throw win. Kelly. He'll hold it up. Back to Gardner. Pumps it over the top. And they're in again. Con's there, though. Will he clear it? He does indeed. McKeown picks up. Will it be a last touch attack? No. Dang, a big challenge on McKeown, who we haven't seen this game at all. He might as well be in sleep with this whole game. Boyd, Bell, and this drops us all the way down to fourth in the table, two points behind Don Donald here, top of the league, Wickham, we haven't seen much of him in this game either, Wickham bits his man, whips it in and goes for goal, hits a crossbar over, oh, could have been a winner right at the end of the 94th minute, there it is, 1-1 one, one draw, we drop down to fourth in the table, not ideal, but against one of the better teams in this division, we will take it. So guys, thank you very much. If you've enjoyed this little episode, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our other Football Manager content. Cheers guys, have a good one. All the best, bye.